Welcome back to my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Penn, market analyst at Hantech on Friday, the 3rd of July. Looking at gold as my final chart today, I'm encouraged by the fact that gold held up yesterday. Um, but a, a bull candle was a decent response actually to, to Wednesday's disappointing move uh, that left a high at 1789 and fell back. Intraday, uh, we had that payrolls report and intraday gold sharply spiked lower for a few minutes and then rebounded completely and is actually holding above the level there now that it was before that payrolls report. And I think that that is encouraging. Um, the argument being it has be, it has slightly breached that uptrend, but essentially not closing below it. I think we can continue to see that that's still intact. Um, still, we have this positive bias. We continue to see closing levels. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five net our closes above 1764, which was the old May high. So the market breaking out is holding that breakout effectively. We've got the uptrend in, in place that comes in at... Um, 1769 today so it is possible that again even even amidst um, consolidation that uptrend is well it's likely to be tested if not broken in the next session or so probably monday it may well do uh, get broken but holding above 1764 on a consistent basis i i think is in, is encouraging considering the up, um, the improvement that we've seen recently in momentum indicators that rsi into the high 60s although it's dragged back a little bit MACD line still rising, stochastics just a shade above 80, but still positively configured or strongly configured, I should say. But I think anything that holds above 1744, essentially, I'm still bullish on gold. I think uh, if it uh, does slip back and uh, breaches that uptrend and maybe maybe comes back below 1764, I'm still happy to buy into that weakness. Um, a close below 1744, you start to lose the, the, the bullish argument, I think. Um, because what I'm taking this is a, as a range breakout. Now you can take that range as from different levels, I think, but 17, uh, six, sorry, 1670 measured up towards 1774, 1775 area. You could do a little bit higher, but um, that gives you a conservative range estimate target of around about 1820 as your upside target. And I still think that's going to be taken in the next coming um, in the coming weeks. But uh, any weakness I still see as a chance to buy on gold. Hourly chart, it's still, as I said, holding strong ground. I mean, even that spike lower didn't breach the 30 level on the on the hourly RSI. So it's still essentially holding on to a pretty positive configuration. It's just a, in a bit of a consolidation today with the US uh, out of the game for the um, Independence Day public holiday. But uh, essentially, we're still bullish on gold. I'm still happy to buy into weakness for further upside above 1789. Initial resistance yesterday is high 1779, but expect us at another test or pressure on 1789 in due course and then beyond. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website to sign up for our webinars and also click to watch our Trader Talks videos to gain some top trading ideas.